New at 5, parents in Conyers are worried about big changes proposed for the city's curfew law. The change would hold any guardian, not just parents, responsible if any teen in their care violates curfew. For example, if your child has a sleepover, you're now responsible for making sure none of the kids violate curfew or you could face jail time. Fox Live's Portia Bruner joins us live from Rockdale County with a look at the proposed change. Portia? It can tell you, Conyers police tell me that this rule uh, went into effect actually a few years ago when they were getting lots of complaints from businesses about kids hanging out at restaurants or running through Walmart and in some cases getting involved in criminal activity. Parents have been penalized or can be penalized. That's been the case for years, but now they're looking at penalizing any adult whose kids get out past curfew. You have to hold community responsible for community. And Rockdale County mother Lauren Harper supports expanding the curfew ordinance that Conyers City Council members will vote on Wednesday evening. The current ordinance only holds parents responsible for having children younger than 16 out in public past curfew. The new measure, however, expands that responsibility to any guardian, meaning parents can be penalized not just for their kids, but also their kids' friends if they're at the movies or restaurants late at night. That's your responsibility regardless of of your biological ties are not and I think other other parents are trusting you or the other parent to be held accountable for for the group. We were experiencing a, a high volume of uh, fight calls. We had juveniles being robbed by other juveniles uh, being assaulted. Conyers Police Captain Jackie Dunn says the city curfew was adopted in 2011, but not strongly enforced until 2013, when businesses started complaining about teens causing problems. Coming into the restaurants in large groups and, and taking up four or five tables and, and ordering water, um, just, just, you know, and, and causing mayhem, running through Walmart. He says the 911 calls about teenagers dropped once parents were cited, but he says there was one loophole. We'd hope, try to hold the adult accountable. They were saying, oh, I, I let my child's sleepover at so-and-so's house, uh, and so the ordinance didn't really cover that. If we've written 70 total tickets, would, would be my guess in, in the years, that we, we've used it more as a tool and given out a thousand warnings. 